Dear God, thank you for this day and just thank you for um, bringing us here today, Lord. I just thank you for all the girls that are here and um, that are here to support Hannah and Peyton. And Lord, we just uh, we just pray that you help them look back on this time with such happiness and thankfulness and that they're able to just remember this day and the memories and to take that with them uh, as they go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> Now Justin Bieber. <laughs> and so it all started in eighth grade when my family and I moved to Lubbock and we went to Lubbock Christian. But I remember the first day I saw Peyton. My crush on him quickly became equivalent to Bieber fever. And if y'all know what Bieber fever is, then y'all know I was crushing so hard on this boy. <laughs> and a few years passed and to my surprise, my crush became a reality. I can only picture little 8th grade Hannah looking at her life right now. Um, if you knew Hannah, you knew it was always going to be Peyton Maddox. Thank you to those who have been alongside us since the very beginning for holding on for dear life <laughs> through the ups and downs. And thankfully, I can say the third time really is the charm. The third time's a charm. And to the second time, the hand had said that her and Peyton were talking, and, and I'm, I'm sure I had a, a wonderful word of encouragement, like I always do, don't I, Peyton? Yeah. And uh, anyway, and Hannah said, Dad, I'm probably going to marry him. We love you, dude. Uh, we're proud of you. Can't wait to, to get you hitched, dude. To Peyton and Hannah. Peyton. Cheers. Thank you. You described it perfectly. I was like, have you seen this? I had an idea. Crazy. It's beautiful. Thank you. You got emotional. <laughs> I did. I knew I would. I didn't think you would. I know. So what do we do okay. now? I don't know. I'm ready to get this thing started. <laughs> Suspense is building. <laughs> well, tonight is so very exciting because we are gathered here to establish a brand new home where the Lord Jesus can accomplish his purpose and establish his perfect plan. The marriage of two people is viewed by God as an occasion of great joy since it marks the beginning of a relationship that God has divinely planned. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Thank you, God. <laughs> I am so incredibly thankful for you. You are a steady rock for our family. The sacrifices in life you have provided for us has been one of my biggest blessings and greatest joys. And dear mom, I'm not sure where to begin or how to adequately express my love and appreciation for you. But I'm so incredibly thankful for you. Your sacrifices, love, encouragement, strength, and faith 
have impacted me more than I'll ever know. Thank you for showing me that kind of love. You're the best dad. I love you so much. <laughs> Thank you. To be loved but not known is comforting but superficial. To be known and not loved is our greatest fear. But to be fully known and truly loved is, well, a lot like being loved by God. To my handsome, blue-eyed, blonde-haired Peyton Glenn Maddox, I don't know where to begin when someone means so much to me. I often wondered what day I would get married and who I would get married to. And after dating you at 15, I prayed and dreamt for so long it would be you. In my Bible, I put on the top in Ephesians, immeasurably more, that is what you are preparing me for. And I said it to my heart over and over again. Ten years later, and you are my answered prayer and my immeasurably more. God has been so faithful and so evident in the details. I will forever praise him for hearing every desire in my heart when it came to you. And being the author of our story, orchestrating every moment to lead to this day, the Lord has specifically made for you and I. Our story is quite the roller coaster, but looking back, it's evident God's fingerprints are everywhere. God put you on my heart months before I finally got the nerve to ask you to lunch. And since that day, my life hasn't been the same. <laughs> person inside and out. Your smile, your laugh, and constant joy is contagious to everyone you're around. You have a way of making every day brighter and every challenge easier to face. If I had all the time in the world to describe how much I love you, we would be here for probably another 10 years. You are my best friend, my one and only love, my first kiss and my last. I'll love you with an everlasting love, forever wanting your hugs and kisses until I'm old and gray until we're pushing up daisies, and I'm sure that still won't be long enough. Peyton, will you commit yourself to, to Hannah's joy because she is created in the image of God? Will you promise to love, honor, trust, and serve her in sickness and in health, in adversity and in prosperity, and be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I do. I do. Um, these people at this table, in this room, I mean, we, we've got you guys. We love you. So, I hope, I wish a ton of laughter, a ton of joy, um, all the things. But in those times where things get tough, um, everyone in here has got your back. So, we love you guys. Wherever you are is where I want to be, even if that's on a golf course. <laughs> Laughter is a soundtrack of our love because of you, and it is a dream to do life with you. I promise to comfort you when you're down, listen when you need to vent, and make you laugh when life gets too serious. And if my joke doesn't hit, I will immediately result to tickling, but that won't be my first option. <laughs> I choose you today and every day after this, the easiest choice of my life. Here's to having a lifetime to make up for lost time. <laughs> So having pledged your faith and love to each other, having sealed your solemn vows by the giving and exchanging of rings, by the authority vested in me by God and His church, I now pronounce you husband and wife. What God has joined together, let no man separate. Peyton, you may now kiss your wife. Take me home. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Peyton Maddox.
So we're thankful for y'all. We're thankful for the future that is, is headed your way. So if everyone will raise their glass. To Hannah and Peyton. Love you guys. Take me home.